Hello, friends and fellow adventurers. All right, we got some mail. Cabbage slaw recipe. Oh, that's good. So we learned about cabbage slaw. Let's learn this recipe. Oop, wrong way. And then let's harvest what we're gonna get here. Um, I think that's it. I don't. I don't think these things are going to survive uh, beyond the season here. I'm just gonna sell these. I'm going to save the fennel and the leek, because I think those are just spring things. Let's put our wood away. And then let's go and get our watering can. Okay. Uh, I will water these. I don't feel like I'm going to probably get much out of this, but we will get some XP, I guess, for doing it, which is important. All right, and yeah, no, I don't think any of that. I think stuff's all gonna die on me. That's okay. Um, let's now. So yeah, our stamina. We was a f we had a full stamina, and it did um, uh, expand to. Uh, uh, I think it added a little bit of stamina at the end of it. Hey, bud. Good morning, you ever raise a cow? Marvelous animals, everyone should have a cow or two around the house. So if I come over, can we do the tea time now? Is it a tea time cutscene? Thanks for stopping by. Come on in, put up your feet. So you're looking to raise some animals? I've got quite the selection to choose from. If you feed them, pet them, call them outside on nice days, they'll reward you with all sorts of wonderful produce. Fresh eggs and milk are really useful if you like cooking. You can also sell them for a nice profit. Some animals even provide useful crafting materials such as feathers and wool. Mistria also holds an annual festival with great prizes. Although you might find the com competition a little stiff against my Henrietta. <laughs> She's singing her praises. If you go on to breed your animals with heart-shaped treats, you can even pair them to produce rare colors. Here's a mild, some milled feed to get you started, but don't forget, you can also let them graze or even hand feed them as a treat. Would you like to... Yeah, let's do the ranching tutorial. Okay, so uh, baby animals can be purchased from Hayden's Farm once you build a barn or a coop for them to live in. Adult animals will drop produce and can even breed to unlock new colors at two hearts. Make sure to feed and pet your animals once a day to keep them happy. Animals can be fed various ways. Indoor drops, grazing outside, and even hand feeding are the options. Animals like to be called outside on sunny days, but avoid bringing them out in bad weather. Oh. Well, I think that's about everything for now. Don't be a stranger. I can tell Henrietta appreciates your company, and so do I. Alright. So, um, there we go. We got tea with lemon. Alright, thanks, buddy. Let's go now uh, down to the ocean and do a little ocean fishing. Um, we didn't succeed at... Uh, you know, getting everything we were hoping to there with the the pond. Oh, <laughs> question mark butterfly. Uh, I think we've seen that one, right? That's yes, yeah, not rare at all. Um, okay. Hey, little fish, come on. Okay, and then this one here. Hey, buddy. Oh, come on. It's funny you can't jump off from this space. Oh. There we go. Come on, little fishy. Nope. Anchovy. Um. Oh, you can from there. That's cool. Okay, we got ourselves a lobster. And fish that's not interested. There we go. You. Okay, we got a squid. Yeah, I, I do like the fishing in this game. I like that it's not really skill based. It's just you gotta be paying a little bit of attention. Um, that it, uh, it's, it's a little surprise with the variability. Um, I think, you know, once you get the possibility, oh, uh, all the possibilities for the museum collection, I don't, you know, I guess it sells for a decent price. I don't know that I would bother doing it after that. But yeah, I like that it exists. 
the way it does. Oh, come on, really? Okay, so you, you do get fish from doing that as well. Huh. Is that one? Jellyfish. I wish it was one that we could uh, bring in. Okay, we got a clam. Hey, fish. Come here. Really? There we go. What is that? Shrimp. Okay, uh... There we go. That's for you, Biddy. Come on, bud. Uh, a sturgeon, right? Swordfish, sorry. Sorry, that, that uh, swordfish is like, really? Okay, that's some crud. That's no good. Okay, this one's gonna swim into my thing, so that's good. What is this one? A Pollock, okay, but it's not required. <laughs> really? Hmm, these fish are tough. They don't just mess about, they're like... Listen, I'm, I'm a rare uh, and wonderful species. Okay, I'm gonna come. Uh, yeah, I wish I could fish in the water. <laughs> Let's go over here. Oh. Okay, pearl clam. And then this one over here. Oh, and I didn't bring my. Probably gonna need a more extreme thing than this pickaxe, but yeah, when you get anywhere near them, they the fish get skittish. All right, well that's that, I think. Try to avoid scaring any more of the fish away. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't know what the the randomness is on these things, like how realistically how long. Uh, all of this. Oh, that T did a real number. Wow. Okay, let's go now and uh, sell off some stuff. Okay. Yeah, and this uh, definitely, this is the quick route. There we go. And our cell bin is here, so that's good. Um... Okay, question mark, sand dollar, sardine, anchovy, clam, jellyfish, shrimp, squid. Um, lobster, swordfish, pollock. A trail mix I'd like to keep. Okay. And then we get some feed there. Alright, and we're mostly full because of that wonderful uh, tea we had. So let's head back down see if we can find a few more things. Definitely not much luck though. I'm, I'm impressed at how little there is. Okay, so let's see. Can we get you here, bud? Okay. What is that bug? Oh, water bug. Dude, that was, that was on your tail. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, I think also that, that eight fishing rod would have been a good, uh, a good thing to get crafting instead of the shovel that I did previously. I do like that the water spots come back though. Um, and then everything kind of reloads. So, I mean, if you sort of, you know, 
It, I think you could just go back and forth, but the days are so short that you really don't have... Oh, okay, was that beyond my ability? Maybe. Tuna. Anchovy. Um... Seaweed. Well, at least we can cook with that. That's good. Oh, look at this monster. Monster of the deep here. Come on, buddy. See, I don't know if it's that my fishing level is like I need to be at fishing level 10 or something. Or if it's that um, my fishing rod is inadequate. But I feel like the fishing rod isn't the issue. I think it's that I need to be probably a, a higher level. Which does make me think it's probably... See, there we're at fishing level 10 now. I wonder if it's really hard to catch some of these fish in uh, the, uh, the, the first year that you're doing it. Did that. There we go. <laughs> okay, tuna. And I got some points there. Okay, and this thing here. Come here, bud. Uh, I thought we were, thought we were talking the same language there. This one, though. Okay. So I think I'm gonna, oh. Hey, how's it going, Terithia? I spied a paddlefish at the museum and figured it was your doing. What a funny looking creature. They used to say the paddle was for digging, but that's not the case. The sea scholar told me that. Hmm. Hey bud, uh, I'm gonna come up and then back down. So yeah, I don't know how the, in terms of like where they um, head out, like if the the critters are, um, certain certain critters hang out in certain areas, like is there a logic to it? I have no idea. All right, anything? No. Hey gang. Okay, we got another clam. Oh, there's two things right beside each other here. All right. Got a Pollock and a Pearl Clam. Oh, what is this? Okay, jellyfish. All right, well, let's head back up. Yeah, intriguing. Like, we we did a lot of fishing, and we really just did not see any of the fish that uh, I'd hoped to run into. Okay, we are exhausted, so at least we'll go to bed wiped out. That's good. Yeah, that's definitely the quick way to go to the, <laughs> the other area. Okay, so let's now put in... Um, Okay, and then I, uh, hold up. Oops, oh my gosh, I went the wrong direction. <laughs> oh, I'm on auto autopilot here. Okay, that makes more sense, right? <laughs> yeah. So I'm thinking I have to wait for 25 for the other stuff. Uh, put you and you here, you there. I'm gonna put the other things inside. Yeah, I don't think I qualify for any other. Oh. Okay, well I guess we could do the farming one. Okay, cooking, yeah, you know what? Uh, let's do the cooking time, actually.
Okay, so we finished this one, this one, this one. We're almost done that one. So, you know, I we've done a lot of basic stuff in the first season here. So I feel like we kept a pretty good pace with most of the things. Uh, we got a lot done. So, all told, I feel pretty good with how spring went. What are we looking at tomorrow? Sunny and clear. All right, let's, uh, what do we have for tasks as well? Uh, beautification project, right? We got to deal with that. I still want to go and get the mining thing dealt with and a stone for a crate chair. That's worth it. All right, we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.